Hi guys and welcome back to another episode of Batman the Telltale series. Samantha here and we are about to get started again. On last episode we met face to face with Catwoman aka Selena aka Harvey's little woman of the hour I guess or woman of the I don't even know what to call her but anyway we she gave us um, an address to go somewhere and figure out what this drive situation is about so let's get started. Alfred I'm at the warehouse. No sign of Catwoman's contact. Eastside Dock, 644 p.m. It's quiet. The sound of an ambush. Stay on guard. Oh, once again, the nerves are kicking in. <laughs> All right, so we're here. This wasn't a handoff. It was a massacre. How many? A dozen? I'd have to count the pieces. Yeah, that's quite oh, a bit. Oh, good lord. Who could have done such a thing? That's what I'm gonna find out. Gordon, Eastside Docks, mm. Warehouse 133. Inspect the evidence at the. Okay, so let's Nothing look at the exploded human remains. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, man. All right. Uh, scorch marks? Okay. But check out that purple, though. <laughs> it's a volatile chemical. Potential psychoactive nerve agent. Vile stuff. Be very, very careful with that. Who knows what effect it may have. Have the computer catalog the compound for further analysis. As you wish. I'm telling y'all, Alfred is the man. Uh, let's link it. Okay, wait. Connect South Mark evidence to exploded remains to craft your theory. All right, so let's link it here. Alrighty. Did we get a... Whatever exploded did so with enough force to obliterate the person standing next to it. But the chemicals themselves were inert. Not explosive. Well, it appears to have made a pretty big boom. I'll see what I can piece back together. Alright, so let's see. We got the dead mercenary here. I've seen these outfits before. Yeah. Same mercs that broke into City Hall. Reconstruct what happened here by discovering which piece of evidence best linked together to tell the story. Okay, so these were the guys we saw in the beginning of the story. Um, they were... Uh, so let's see here. We got... Uh, okay, so we got this, the blast epicenter, we got the blad, the, the remains, we got the unscorched area, let's look at the unscorched area, it's looking like tire Something tracks. Something was here when the explosion occurred. Alrighty, uh, let's check a look at this police officer. It looks like a police officer or security White guard. Rose. Oh, a rose, okay. Falcone's calling card. Uh-oh. He's been busy as of late. Send the drones hunting. I want to know his every move. Good thinking, sir. Interesting. Okay, so Falcone was apparently here. We got another dead mercenary here. But is his men the mercenaries? Or oh wow. Face slashed. Throat torn open. So, not natural causes then. Wait, okay. Why does it look like the cat? Oh, pocket. Let's search the pocket. Skylight Club. Really? You would happen to have just a bag of ma some matches in your... Alright, so we got the Skyline Club. What does this say? Uh, I feel like that said something. Okay. A face torn apart and throat ripped open. All right, and then we got a burnt cop right here. Let's check him out really quickly. Oh goodness, he got scorched. Oh gosh. This man's been badly burned. I'm glad I'm not doing a face cam. <laughs> the damage seems to originate from inside his skull. What did this? Inside the skull? Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh. All right, press LS to find the bullet and A to extract it. All right, so LS to find the bullet. All right, so let's see. Um, look, I don't... 
Oh, oh, there it go. Come on back. Oh wait, go back. Wow. Sensors say it's an incendiary route. Phosphorus residue. This could have superheated the contents of the canister. Causing the aforementioned boom. Yeesh. This is a mess. Alright, uh, let's see what else we can get. Uh, we got bloody hands. Let's take Blood, a look at the bloody hands. Broken nails. Whoa. Bits of human flesh. Look like he was tortured. Okay, so we have the bloody hands, the bullet. Um, okay, let's see what else we got. I think I'm supposed to try to link all of these things together, but I'm not 100% sure. Oh, we got more stuff over here. All right, let's make sure we don't have nothing over here. All right, cool. So I make sure so I can make sure I get all of my... Okay, this cop was shot too. It's a cop. The force grows thinner every day. All right, is that all we're going to do is just look at the cop? There's nothing else? Okay. Then we have this room over here, the pallets. Let's go examine those really quickly. Hmm. Canisters were stored here. Canisters yeah, something was there. What? And they've gotten it. Whatever it was, they've gotten it. What does this have to do with the drive, though? Let's examine the shipping container door. I'm probably gonna have to open it, though. The canister exploded, sending shrapnel right through the container door. For once, I'm glad you arrived after the heist. Yeah. Your armor wouldn't too. have protected you against that. All right, let's open it up. We're getting it. We're getting it. All right, let's see what else we got up in here. Uh, we can examine this fragment. Be Looks careful. like a bullet started this. A normal bullet couldn't have caused that explosion. Doesn't appear normal. The point of entry is melted. Can Alfred see what I'm seeing? I feel like Alfred can see what I'm seeing. Can I go in there? Okay. Scrap metal with melted hole in the middle. Okay. So I am almost positive that this is linked to the guy with the bullet <coughs> excuse me the bullet in his head because that was melted so let's go link these really quickly how do we do that right here we gotta do it in the in right there and i think that's probably what's gonna happen there right find a connection The bullet that killed the cop is the same type that blew up the canister. I'm sure they didn't find that at a local gun store. It appears military. Okay, so no, that wasn't continue linking to, okay. Okay, I'm confused. Okay, so, so it didn't go through this guy's? Okay, so I linked that together. Okay, so then we have the, oh, he has broken nails, so it'll be to this guy, because this guy has the ripped off face, right? Let's see, yep, ripped off face. Wow, he did some damage to him, though. The cop shredded this merc to pieces, barehanded. God, what would cause someone to do that? Because of that, that, uh, the gas, could yeah. make them psychotic. Yeah, the gas. Okay, so what else we got? I hope I'm doing this right. Uh, what does he have? The white rose, we don't have to link that to anywhere. So the white rose, we don't have to link anywhere. Uh, we have to link this. So ground zero of the chemical explosion. So actually, do we link? Uh, I'm a little bit confused. Oh my goodness. Is there anything else we can link over here? I think that's all we can link. So I'm obviously linking something wrong. I know for sure we got the, the, um, okay, let's figure this out y'all. Cause I'm thinking that I did something wrong. So the bullet, um, the bullet must've went. So let's unlink this. Okay. Let's unlink that. So how do I unlink it? Just click it. Or do I have to remove? Let's link this. Why not the unscorched area? Area devoid of explosion. Cancel the link. Okay, let's link um, this with well. 
Wait, what are we linking this with? I don't see what we can link this with. Is there anything up here? Okay, I guess let's link these two together. I don't know. Someone drove off after the explosion. Oh, that would make sense. Put it together. Yes. Okay, that would make sense. Because if the car was gone before the explosion... Falcone leaving his rose here. This is a message. Dead cops, stolen chemicals. He's making a big move. One of his snipers hit a canister with an incendiary bullet, causing it to superheat and explode. This may have been a distraction or a way of destroying evidence. Cops moved in to stop the theft. Falcone's men gunned him down. Then things turned grim. Possibly due to the psychoactive nerve agent. A cop ripped up a merc's face with his bare hands. And was put down. Same sniper, same type of bullet. Looks like Falcone's men got what they wanted and escaped. Wow. Have you located the shooter? No, but based on two impact trajectories, the canister and the dead cop, the shooter could only have a clear shot from there, there, or there, and would have contaminated himself with the phosphorus residue. Program the skimmers to pick up that signature. Right away, sir. Wow, okay, so let's locate the sniper's nest. So, let's see, we got that one. Oh, okay, that's all I have. Oh, I have this one. Um, so we could do that one or that one. All right, so let's, let's do this one first. So let's place that on there. The bat tech to reveal trace evidence of phosphorus. Doesn't that sound so technical and scientific? Both targets could have been shot from here, but no phosphorus trace. Okay. So we got one over there. All right, should we grapple over there? Let's grapple. Because, I mean, you know, why not? <laughs> I mean, who uses the stairs when you're Batman? Oh, I see traces of something. Phosphorus spike. Clear vantage point. We have a winner. Well, that was easy. But what does that have to do with anything? Uh, what should we do? Should we look at the... We got this a handprint. This is the right spot. So where did he go? He kind of went crazy. He kind of went crazy. Um, let's look at the cigarette. Maybe we can get some DNA. I don't know. I might be thinking too much about this. It's still hmm. lit. Killing time. It's still lit. So this was like fresh. Like it should be like burnt off by now. Um, let's look at the phosphorus trace. Stops trace. Here. Then he should be nearby. Yep. He's still here probably. Found him. Uh oh. Is he dead is the question. Time to go to work. Is he dead is the question. Is he about to go crazy? Is he about to do some zombie apocalypse stuff on me? My turn. Don't make me add your corpse to this graveyard. Balcone, why did he do this? I, I ain't telling you nothing. You, you can't make me talk. I didn't do it. I ain't telling you, Jack. I don't want to punch him. He's too nice for games like this. <laughs> you trying to scare a confession out of me? No. I won't break. Your bones will. Uh oh. Face to face with the bat. Ooh, we about to pick up the. Ooh. It's true what they said about you. You're a freaking animal. Really? 
whatever it takes to make you talk. You know, you can bleed to death without ever spilling a drop. Wow. All on the inside. Tell me the plan. Or Not us my animal, swinging. he was killing people. Oh, gosh. Let me answer. <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> the Catwoman was supposed to hand over a drive. Had the container number we needed, but she flaked. So we had to find it ourselves. Uh oh. Uh, container by container. Uh, someone must have heard us. Called the cops. We were told no witnesses. Why risk open war with the GCPD? Some kind of chemicals. <laughs> Falcone wanted them. What are the exactly. chemicals for? We were paid to steal them, not ask questions. I start here and keep breaking until you answer. I'm not gonna break the chemicals. this on There's some kind of explosive, a weapon. I don't know. Falcone said he'd use them soon. Used where? That's all I know. I swear. I swear. I think I believe him. I told you everything I know. You're an animal. I'm gonna back out. Oh God. Jesus Christ. These are cops. Get an ambulance in here. I think I need to call the coroner instead. I'm gonna disappear. I'm gonna disappear. He could get him. I'm gonna disappear. Cause last time we dealt with Gordon, it wasn't pretty. He, he tried to kill me. Who, who tried to kill you? The bad man. Oh goodness. So should I have stayed? He didn't try. To, I Don't didn't try to kill you, dude. I let you go. Bruce. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for noting my nonviolent approach. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right, guys. I guess we're going to end this episode today. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. And if you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.